안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. This week's feast. Cooking with Ice Bear. Welcome to Cooking with Ice Bear. Today, we're making jeon, a traditional Korean ceremony dish. Feast of Fiction fans like to party, so let's party hard with this delicious meal. Time to shave your grizz sweet potato. <laughs> that is totally me! <laughs> oh. Ouch, that looks like it hurt. Cut this potato into a square and use a mandolin to make cute square cuts. Hey, this zucchini looks like Charlie. Ice Bear knows no mercy. Ice Bear will prepare potato john first. After peeling and boiling your potatoes, mash them up in a mixing bowl. Add some flour, an egg, salt, and pepper, thoroughly mixed together. Next, form small cakes in your hand. Smushy. Ice Bear likes smushy. Let's prepare our flour and egg mixtures for frying. Combine flour, cornstarch, and salt in a bowl. Mix together. In another bowl, beat an egg with some ice water. Ice Bear likes it cold. Now dip and prepare your frying ingredients. First, dip it in flour. This will help eggs stick to your ingredients, like underwear into sweaty butt. Repeat for your sweet potatoes and your shrimp. Next, add some oil and begin frying each side. What a sound. What a thrill. Continue to do so for all of your ingredients. Be careful. Ice Bear knows that oil is hot and can hurt if it pops. Shrimp will let you know they're done cooking when they turn a bright orange color. That's it. Voila. Korean Jeon with Feast of Fiction. Line them up and marvel at how wonderful it all looks together. Serve these up at any occasion and prepare a dipping sauce so it elevates the taste to the next level. Enjoy and thank you for joining me today on Cooking with Ice Bear. Who's that patron? It's Kipnix! Kipnix! Let's eat! I'm gonna start off with a zook dip. And I got a zook. A zook. Ooh, the deep dip. Ooh. Oh my gosh, the full dip. Mmm. Mm. Chewy, light, delicious. The thing I'm looking forward to most though, freaking potato cakes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that is good. Now, the shrimp. Mmm. That is some fresh shrimp. Yeah? Mm hmm. It looked beautiful. The pieces of shrimp were beautiful and plump. Mm hmm. And then you saw they turned pink. Mm. They cooked. They just looked very luscious. This is so much fun. This is my really is, a lot of fun. Minus the part where you will potentially get some hot oil burns on yourself if you're not careful. So please, if you make this at home, have a parent supervise you. Yep. Wear an apron, long sleeves is good mm -hmm. if you're cooking with hot oil. Goggles. You want to say thank you in Korean? How's that? Kamsamida. What else uh, do you know in Korean? Annyeonghaseyo, which is like hello. I think it also might mean thank you. What does it mean? Annyeonghaseyo. Annyeonghaseyo. So this was good. I mean, a little too fried for me, if we're going to be honest. <laughs> well, you have a child to take care of. You need to make sure you're living a healthier lifestyle. Me, on the other hand. He's going to let it all go to shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, those rock hard Mulan abs be gone! As he's Breakfast. like chowing down on these potato things. Okay, alright. Don't make me feel bad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. You it's know okay. what? For the sake of the show, he was the actual true taste tester as opposed to me that just took micro bites. Micro bites? Yeah, I ate the full bite. Just because it doesn't speak to my taste palette, this is still really good. Yeah. I think it'd be really fun for a party too. Yeah, I mean, also just like, this is very a very traditional, I believe, Korean dish that's lightly fried, almost like tempura, if you know Japanese food. Mm -hmm. You know, that's something that's taken off in Asia that used to never be big there? Cheese. <coughs> cheese. Cheese? Yeah, cheese used to not really be a big part of the diet in uh, Asian cultures because there's just not that much dairy out there. Okay. You see it a lot in Korean barbecue. Uh, you see it a lot just in general, they'll like melt cheese on the side, people dip things into it as well. Oh, another fun fact, in Korea, they have a KBBQ, Korean barbecue out there, that says specifically LA style Korean barbecue because it's known, even to people in Korea, that LA has some of the best Korean barbecue in the world. Interesting. Yeah. Well, what makes LA style regular than authentic? Well, I think LA style is more that we have a lot of, we have like higher quality cuts of beef and stuff in the United States because it's easier to grow cows and raise them out here as opposed to Korea where you don't have as much land. You need a lot of space. So there's a lot of good chicken out in Korea, but there's not as much good beef as a result. That is so fascinating. Thank you for sharing all of that wealth of information. Anytime. To us. I got you. I that it was very interesting and fascinating, I'm sure, to you guys as well. And if you want to learn more about cooking, food, and all that stuff, you should probably subscribe to the channel. Hit the little notification bell if it's your first time here. Yeah. Or you can join us over at patreon.com slash Feast of Fiction, who are our most ardent and cool supporters ever. I talk to them on Discord every day. Come join our food chats. That's right. Some of 
our friends out there are sharing foods or memes, pictures from the internet, or talking about their new diet plans that they're on as well. So that's great. I love helping everyone out and just hearing everyone's stories. We sure do. All the way from Singapore, all the way across the world. We got fans and friends and family everywhere. Thank you guys so much as always. And leave a comment below letting us know what you want to see us make next. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Peace.